<coughs> our director uh, of programs, program director. <coughs> she says, uh, I must say thank you. <laughs> and having said thank you, sit down. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the, the first time I was uh, here at this theater was 1962. Uh, not inside, but outside. And that's the day the theater was opened by Hendrik Verwurt. So we were standing outside to protest that fact. It was called the Civic Theater. But it clearly was not the Civic Theater. Because we all lived in Johannesburg but were excluded from here. So we're standing outside. It was the day of the opening of the theater. So we're holding placards, down with apartheid, and, and so on. And it was a cold, cold day. Very cold. So we stood there with the placards, and, and of course you can imagine who enters the hall as white South Africa. White South Africa was entering, and basically black South Africa was holding placards in the cold. And we really were praying that they must move fast <laughs> <laughs> so that we could go home. <laughs> and in the end, uh, Everybody was in, the doors closed. So we pack up our placards. We were leaving. But we had been joined by a, a young American, a young white American. And we're very, very glad that he joined us in this demonstration. But we regretted that a little bit later because we packed our placards and we're going home. But he wanted a discussion. So <laughs> and what he wanted to do, what he tried to do, was to convince us about what he called people's capitalism. So he was very, very intent that he must convert us to this notion of people's capitalism. And this example, his example was General Motors. And he was saying General Motors is owned by millions of Americans who buy shares. And that's the kind of capitalism we should have in the world, including South Africa. He, he had a suspicion, a suspicion that we were anti-capitalist. I don't think we were. What we were was anti-him. <laughs> he was keeping us in the cold. <laughs> but as I was saying, that's the first time I was at this theater, but outside, outside there, not, not here. And very, it was really very, very cold. That's the night it snowed for the first time in the history of Johannesburg. That's why it was that cold. So when everybody woke up in the morning, there was a bit of snow in Johannesburg for the first time in its history. 
That's why those of us who were in that demonstration would never forget that, that particular day. But of course, you can imagine now this is uh, uh, 61 years later. This time, I'm not outside. I'm inside. <laughs> And I must say, it's very, very warm inside. <laughs> and really basically warm because of your presence. Yeah. I'm very, very glad you were not at that demonstration in 1962 because you would have been cold. I'm very, very glad that we are all of us here today in this warmth. So Zanelle said, uh, for the first time since we got married, whenever it was, uh, <laughs> she said, I can speak for her. This is the very, very first time. Uh, and so indeed, I must say, she says, she's very, very glad that everybody came today. It is, it is winter, uh, as it was winter then. But I think we are suffering from a different kind of cold as a country. It's not, uh, it will not snow tonight in Johannesburg. But it will be cold for other reasons. Uh, because we, the electricity supply system is unreliable. Uh, there's too much criminality. Too many people unemployed. Uh, lots of problems. And I think that's what makes South Africa cold. But I'm very, very glad indeed, and, and Zanelli is very glad that we were able to convene here today to keep one another warm. To keep one another warm in this sense that the performers we see here today, the Dragon Boys, the Dragon's Bank Boys, Choir, uh, Simpua Dana, uh, a band, um, Ringo is coming later, I hope. <laughs> really, basically, to communicate a message of hope. It's a message of hope that uh, even as we sit here, what do we, co we communicate joy. Yes, there is a lot of misery out there, but we've got enough conviction about the future of our country that we can communicate this message of joy and hope about that future. So that is why I think all of us came to this hall, this theater, this afternoon, this Sunday afternoon, because we're of one mind, that tomorrow South Africa will be better than it is today. I, 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 I think we, we come together because of that kind of commitment. And I can see the faces uh, close, not so close. And I don't see misery in anybody's face or despondency. But I think it's because all of us have gathered to make, communicate one message, that tomorrow will be better than today. Uh, Wilson, Wilson, Gossi, I don't know where he is. Yeah. 
Is he here? Okay. So I will. Uh, Hatebe, who employed me at Metro FM, is here. I can leave now, Mr. Hatebe. Our group chief executive officer at the SABC, he made sure that I stayed. For all these years is the reason I'm still here. Thank you, sir. I can leave now. Thank you so much. As the song goes, it's taken me a while, but I'm finally here. Thank you. Okay. So let, let me not be long. Um, but uh, the... Uh, program director mentioned uh, one of the things that will happen next year. You know there is a, a bad tendency here at home and, and, and elsewhere on the continent which is a, a laziness to read. People don't want to read. They want to watch TV and all of that. <clears throat> so, uh, some people on the continent and ourselves and the foundation uh, think that it is an important thing to have this culture of reading and writing. As a result of which, uh, on Africa Day next year, as we hold the Africa Day lecture, as she was saying, uh, a prize will be given for the best books to come out of our continent. Uh, various genres of uh, history, uh, current affairs, politics, economy, mathematics, whatever, to encourage a culture of reading and writing among ourselves as Africans. I'm saying that uh, because we don't see a hopeless future ahead of us, but a very hopeful one. Um, she mentioned uh, the joy of jazz. And indeed the foundation is formed a partnership with the joy of jazz. Uh, you might think that it's because some of us love jazz. <laughs> yeah, which we do. <laughs> but the principal reason is that our colleagues from the job just say to the foundation there's something that has not gone right. One of the things that has not gone right here is that uh, we've lost sight of the role of the arts in terms of the formation of the nation. That we... Uh, That, for instance, we see music just as entertainment. So you stand up and jive and, and all of that. But that is more than that. That music, as you had uh, the saxophonist, 
who was saying it would be it would be a mistake to separate jazz from the politics of this country. That is why this partnership. So we have to attend to this matter of bringing back the arts as part of the making of the nation. Uh, <clears throat> I'm saying that's a statement about hope for the future, not misery about the future. Uh, she spoke about the library. And we're hoping to start building this year uh, and have and complete by 2025. And one of the things you'll be interested in, which communicates the same message of hope about the future, is uh, the rest of the continent is making a statement in a very practical way to say, this is not a South African library, but an African library. Yeah. So one of the things, for instance, is uh, uh, we have even the support of the president of Zambia, uh, President Hichilema, yeah. to bring President Kaunda's archive, all of it, here. Yeah. 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 No, obviously, this is the father of the nation in Zambia. But the Kaunda family, the Zambian government, they say the best home for the, library, the archive of President Kaunda is this African library. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's a message that is being communicated by many Africans. Yeah. So that the Kaunda archives, archive, of course, joins the archive which came earlier it was in Kruma archive. Yeah. It was the diaries, the diaries of the uh, uh, president of Guinea, uh, Segoture. Uh, so that what I'm communicating is this message that we say this library must be up and running by 2025. But what will be inside? is the history, our history as an African people. Something from which we draw to say, this is what happened and this is where we were. But where do we want to be tomorrow? And I'm saying the African continent is saying this library must serve that purpose for the continent as a whole. And these are messages of hope. These are the messages which give us the warmth, the warmth that I feel in this room. As I was saying, the thing that brought us here together on this Sunday afternoon was this confidence about the future. That never mind how cold it is outside there. We will, we will, we will switch on the, the lights. We will. we will make sure that uh, indeed uh, ESCOM works. I'm very, very glad indeed. Uh, as I said, Zanella also said, I must say that on her behalf. Uh, very, very glad indeed that everybody came. There are very many important people here. I won't mention them by name, because that will take me three hours to go through all of them. Uh, but thanks a lot. Thanks a lot indeed for coming to say happy birthday. And of course, thanks to all of these performers here, who each of them volunteered and said uh, they want to be here. You saw the conductor of the Dragon's Mac Boys who said, uh, Last year they came and performed 
at home. It was because there was a clash of engagements just last year. <coughs> so they couldn't come to the concert, the Dragon's Boys Choir. So they did uh, this, uh, we did a limited thing at home. But the rest of the choir who were not there said this year we are going to be there. So it was the Dragonsberg Boys Choir themselves who said we are coming. <coughs> I think with uh, <laughs> with that kind of spirit among our youth, that kind of spirit among our youth, there's no way in which the older ones like me can despair. Because the young people are saying no. There's a bright future ahead of us and we'll make it happen. But thank you very much to everybody for coming. Thanks. Let me see you down there. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. I wish to reiterate President's sentiments. Please help us to build this library. You can buy a brick. A brick is 150 rand. You can buy as many bricks as you want and help us build the Tabombegi Presidential Center. We themed this celebration a celebration of music, of arts, of literary work, of archive, to point out that this is not just an event, but will be an ongoing celebration of our heritage, both in terms of the work that will feature in the Tabombegi Presidential Library and programs of the Joy of Jazz. We're almost at the end of tonight's program, but not without one more special performance. However, before we get to him, I wish to remind us about the message book. If you have not as yet written your birthday message to President Beggy, please try and locate your book, the book and write your message. A massive thank you from all of us at the Tabom Beggy Foundation, UNISA, and Team Music Man for joining us in celebration today. Thank you to the musicians without whom this celebration would have been incomplete. Team Music Team Music Man team for our phenomenal collaboration. We truly did it. Thank you deeply to our patron for his grace and to our chairperson of the board for her continued guidance and support. Tabombegi Foundation team, I still maintain you're simply the best. We wish to thank once again. We wish to thank once again our sponsors, Sianda Resources, Whiphold, Nozala Trust, Mr. Atose Aguela, Diageo South Africa, Stag Africa. Thank you so much for your collaboration with us. And please, I encourage you to continue posting on social media with, under the hashtag TM81. We want to trend the whole week. That's it from my side, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you once again for honoring our invitation tonight. I wish you a pleasant evening further. And now, he gave us hits like Ndia Godola, Sondela, and Indoyam. Ladies and gentlemen, singer, songwriter, and award-winning artist, Ringo Madlingozi. Have a pleasant evening further. <laughs> 